getting used to the controller as far as startup goes. This is my first flight with this on this frame. Just kind of feeling it out. Listening to it. Not trilling, no oscillations. Do a little hover. Nice and easy. Nice This uh, setup was on the uh, Callus Machine Works frame, uh, which is uh, 100 grams heavier than this is. So this is feeling really nice and spry, very balanced. I still do see a slight bit of props in the view. However, I do not have ELS on. Uh, I don't believe I have Rocksteady on. So uh, I can always put this through gyro flow and I'll crop it in ever so slightly. And then I can take that out. But this is a 5.5 frame and I have uh, 5 inch props on here. And I'm still seeing the slight tips of them. But there is no frame there is no uh, there is no standoffs or frame in view which is very nice and uh, only the and the unlike the callous machine work at least of the older frames uh, the original frames I should say is what I was using uh, they had props in view but they are since coming out with ones that uh, do not have props in view Callus machine, I mean, uh, Chris Rosser's frame that I'm using here doesn't, uh, said that they, uh, he changed his mounts so that they would accept the, uh, the camera. I'm looking to have no props in view, so, uh, we'll see how that, uh, works out. Maybe, maybe with the, uh, rock steady uh, or run this through gyro flow which will crop in slightly we'll get it, the props out of you I'm ma mainly using this for uh, cinematic and uh, some freestyle as well Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Oh, there's a possible hawk down there. And duped. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's try that again. 
23 volts. Just testing here. It's all about still getting used to this controller. I want to do a split S. Very controlled. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, YouTubers uh, who have used the controller for FPV for this highly recommend not to using it because of the short throw on the sticks. But uh, which I tend to agree with. Uh, I might change this over to a different system like Crossfire, so I could use my uh, Radio Master T16S. But uh, right now I'm just using it on the uh, regular DJI controller just to, for simplicity. Oh, look at this. This is like beautiful, beautiful sky. This is uh, nice and controllable. I, I'm very pleased with this. Very, very pleased with this uh, frame and system. Those oh, three systems. Alright. Stops right on a dime. Really cool. Love it. Alright, we'll just come in for a uh, see if we could land this thing. Without any problems. Oh, the wind is picking up. Alright. Nice and steady. Alright, so my final thoughts, Chris Roster's frame rocks, I could probably do a little tune on it to even get it even tighter uh, because it tends not to produce as much residence, if any, in the frames of other brands. As I have found out, I have a 5 inch uh, Chris Roster frame build as well. Uh, this is the only one, this is the 5.5 one, the o with the, uh, that is with the uh, O3 air unit. Um, try to make it as clean build as possible, and uh, it fits in the back here very nicely. And I have some aluminum adapters that allow it to be mounted uh, in the 20 by 20 holes provided in the frame. It's making it really no sticky things or wire ties or any gimmickle stuff like that. It mounts securely there. My board is mounted in the middle and then uh, the frame, the camera mount is mounted up, up here and then you've got your little cord that comes here. Very simple, very neat, no Mickey Mouse things. And then here of course is DJI antenna. I just heated up the one from the Callus Machine Works mount, it works good, and just tied it in here for now. Like I say, it's uh, very interesting to use a DJI controller with an FPV drone like this. It is very short uh, gimbal throw and uh, makes it very touchy. I have not done any adjustments in the beta flight yet, uh, which may make it a little easier, but from the footage you saw, it uh, wasn't too bad. It's just uh, really touchy uh, when you're taking off so uh, that could be me but I've heard from others that uh, the throw on the DJI controller is very short and thus the reason why it is for some people is unflyable for them to use that. I might switch over this to Crossfire so I can use my Radio Master T16S but we shall see. Uh, right now uh, I'm very pleased with the air unit and the, sh the flight was short as you can see it is cold and I have another obligation to be at 
uh, but it flies really good. I'm very, very happy with, uh, with it. The aim is to use this air unit on a frame and setup that is set up so that in spite of its wide field of view that no props are in view. And uh, we'll see how that works. So far, there's only a tip showing in there. Like I say, once I stabilize it, perhaps that tiny tip will disappear. Um, this is a 5.5 uh, 03 frame, and I'm using 5-inch props on it. Not not 5.2 or 5.5-inch props, just regular 5-inch props. All right. Well, have a good day. Toodaloo. Have a good one.